everyone and hi everyone today we have a very special program hope you like and you share this program and subscribe very important program and that is uh, about Russia Azerbaijan and Armenia and according to the situation we have some history we are going to tell you some history and some paper we can show you and you can decide and everywhere we find we have more than 500 documents and they show that the area is Nagorno-Karabakh belongs to Azerbaijan but now you see here there is a one uh, a book Russia's role in maintaining status in Cuba in the area. They write the fact that Russia is a main actor in this this area. Russia and also Russia has also maintained the military bosses in Georgia and Armenia as well as the Red Orb station in Azerbaijan. And Russia still maintains a strong military presence throughout their hundred and two and military boss in Armenia and Russia 362 air base in along and a lot of other things so now we are going to the other other part and the other things is very historic uh, that the Russia how Russia play double game Russia sell weapons to both country Russia have relation with both country but the they so the more relations the powerful relation is armenia is a very old history and by the way we are going to tell you uh, armenia and azerbaijan established the status of the region with 1921 karsh treaty and first turkey recognized the independence of armenia two days before the united nations recognized so that was the history and here say russia sell sell lot of weapon s300 system and 400 system to the armenia as well to the azerbaijan and lot of thing you can see here is very very actually the history of that region is a very bloody history bloodshed the if we compare the history is like Pakistan and India, Pakistan and India had a four war and they have already three four war and a lot of other things they have crucial and now say say the Soviet era. What is the Soviet era? What did they mean here? Yeah. The military build up by both countries device budget financial resources into the arm race and the right here two of the most melt-melted country in the world in 2017 they were both country it was top and russia is a main resource they sell everything and lot of the military building had occupied by the ship everything you can see here you can read there and now we are going to the next part this is the old history we're going, going to tell you and some interested one of the first attempt include the collective society treaty which originally was signed by the georgia and azerbaijan but the both georgia and azerbaijan later refused to renew the treaty and lot of other things cst o c s t there as E A E U and E U C A P A and Azerbaijan goes to every platform in the world and everywhere thousands documents show everywhere right the area belongs to Azerbaijan and now because they occupied their very blood shed in the area still still going bloodshed and last friday maybe you know that was also big bloodshed in the area and and they say now the later sign that let up agreement 
treaty in the European Union, United Nations, everywhere, but and every treaty show the Armenians didn't interested. They go OIC, CACST, CAPA, CAEU, and we have paper for every document we have here. We cannot show you because, and now we go to conclusion that Russia is one of one who sold weapon to the both and try to influence the area and South Caucasus. What is the South Caucasus? They call South Caucasus. That they call us not us, they call we are your people. That's why they say Kako, Kaukash. So this is the area we are talking about and it's a very important area. And Azerbaijan had very key role in that area and uh, Azerbaijan is a very powerful and big country but Azerbaijan ha don't have a good relation right now with, uh, with Russia and Azerbaijan should achieve compromise themselves, Putin said 2010 Russian ex president that Azerbaijan compromise. So you can see here the right there is in the paper that Azerbaijan have to compromise not Armenia. And now we are going to the next things we are going to tell you here is here, here, here can you see here that uh, what Azerbaijan did and what they don't did uh, and everywhere you can see Azerbaijan was involved and lot of treaty and every treaty we have a paper more than 500 and here you see the map Turkey is the other side Azerbaijan and then you can see the um, Nagorno Karabakh is belong to Azerbaijan, but still they are occupied and they and, are uh, fighting. And there you see the map and now we are telling you something that Iran, Iran had, uh, Iran has supported Armenia because he was afraid that 15 million strong Azerbaijani community may want to unite with those Armenians. Azerbaijanis who is along the border so Iran supported Armenia and that other things you see here so what can happen in the region he write uh, Othan Ghaffari he write he is a very famous journalist somewhere and he writes so what is the what we can do the Many strong power is involved in that area like Turkey, United States, European Union and Russia and he write here that the mostly war that war is a very near and war is only things can settle the matter. He write in the article and he made, uh, he write in the book and he say that this is maybe unrealistic, but they want war in the regions, the powerful countries. And then you see here some paper, you can see that everywhere, in every part, in every blade part, Azerbaijan go, and everywhere, many resolution in General Assembly, in the United Nations, and almost lot of country more than 80 maybe supported Azerbaijan OIC like all also they did nothing but they do little for Azerbaijan but right now UAE have a strong relation with Armenia don't forget and now that you see the resolution only only one general assembly resolution you see here that we can show you only one we have more than 500 documents like this they store uh, in 
1992-93 as a support by the states member of the United Nations and International Organization to the Azerbaijan. They have a lot of support and everywhere they say this that Azerbaijan have a right over to the area who occupied it from Armenia. And we have a lot of paper resolutions from General Assembly and this is a on, only one copy we can show you, hope uh, you can read. And this is a history, we were, this is a history and Armenia have a old history, Azerbaijan have a old history and everywhere the chairman of the CSEE Mint Conference in everywhere they support Azerbaijan and who is not supporting right now is Russia because Russia is selling weapons to the both country every person know and his history 93, 94, 2017, 2018 documents we have every year more than 500 and they show that this area belongs to Azerbaijan. We were today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Take care and don't forget to share the, this program and subscribe program then you can have a very latest news if you have any question you have any question just call us just send a message you get the answer we promise have a nice time thanks for watching bye bye